Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu in the name of Allah the most gracious and merciful respected brother and sister the 9th of Dil Hucha is the day of Arafah. This day of Arafah the pilgrims gather at the mountain plain of Arafah playing, praying and supplicating to their lords. The first 10 days of Dil Hucha are the best days of the entire Islamic year. The Prophet ﷺ said there are no days greater and more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than these first ten days of Dhul Hujjah. My dear brothers and sisters, the day of Arafah is also significant because this amazing verse was revealed on the day of Arafah Surah Maida, verse chapter 5, verse 3. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, The day I have perfected for you your religion and completed my favor upon you and have approved for you Islam as a religion. My dear brothers, Arafah was the day on which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala perfected his religion completed his favor upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and approved Islam as a way of life. My dear brothers, Laylatul Qadr is the night when the Quran was first sent down and the day of Arafah is the day when Allah perfected our beautiful religion of Islam. My dear brothers, in book Muslim, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said there is no day on which Allah frees people from the fire more so than the day of Arafah. He come close to those people on Arafah and then he reveals before his angel saying what are these people seeking. My dear brothers, the day of Arafah fasting is highly encouraged for those not going on Hajj. Fasting on the day of Arafah experiences the sin of the past year and the coming year. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, Of the day of Arafah, dua, the most excellent dua is the dua said as, La ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu lahul mulku walul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadeer there is nothing that deserve to be worship in truth except allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he is alone and has no partner to him belongs to belongs the dominion and to him belongs all praise and he is all powerful over all things. My dear brothers, it is a sunnah of our beloved Prophet wasallam to recite the tahleel, takbir and tahmeed as many times as possible on the day of Arafah and also on the days of tash, Tashriq on 11th, 12th and 13th of Dil Hijjah. My dear brothers, tahleel is to say la ilaha illallah takbir is to say allahu akbar tahmid is to say alhamdulillah tasbih is to say subhanallah my dear brothers increasing righteous deeds god loves all good deeds and will generously reward them in the day of arafa turning to god and begging his forgiveness with true regret for past misdeeds repeatedly and with a commitment to give up one's sin and abandon one's trans uh, transgressions permanently. Okay, my dear brothers and sisters, see you again with some new topic. Allow me till then. Allah Hafiz.